What's up YouTube, X Snyder here with a tutorial on Draconic Additions. Yes, an additions to Draconic Evolution. Above me is not a reactor core, but a stabilizer core. This is for the new better armor, not Draconic armor, but Chaotic armor. If we take a look, this is all that Draconic Additions has to offer. Some potato armor, very basic. Some better potato armor, and then the ultimate potato armor, energized. Uh, that's kind of like your early game. Oops. That is uh, supposed to be your early game type of deal. So to kind of go all the way through it, you know, constant, 100%. I want to be at your chronic armor. That's kind of how that's been implemented. So, other things in here are uh, Chaotic Energy Core, the Chaos Stabilizer Core. We're about to go over how to build that multi-block structure so you can stabilize your Chaotic Armor. Yes, you have to stabilize it. That was thank you to the developer uh, for creating that. So, you have your Chaotic stuff. Uh, you see here, it's like three of everything. The reason for that is this is, if you were just to craft it, this is stabilized with the basic, you know, power that is stored and then this is the upgrade version of the the power that it stores to fully upgraded which is a lot of power holy smokes um same thing for the armor down here you see it's like three of everything same concept other items about six other little things belt of overloading um self siphoning inertia cancellation typically the draconic armor already has that i would be surprised for this not to have that uh, by default uh, other things would be Necklace of Shieldings, you have uh, a few different ones. You got regular, Wyvern, Draconic. So to go ahead and go in, I'm going to go ahead and do this pretty quickly. It's pretty simple. I don't really have to go into it too in depth. But if we grab us just a basic crafted Chaotic Staff of Power, and then we're going to need four of these. Um, from the rest, they're not built all the way, but this is the structure you're going to build. So the design of the structure is a 5x5 five five and a 3 top pillar on each facing side. So as you can tell, it's 5x5 five five in the middle. So you'd place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then it's 3 stacking in every middle. I'll have to get rid of these because they're annoying. And then... Once you have that done, you actually want to go ahead, use cobblestone and dirt. Don't do this. I'm in creative. Craft you yourself a chaos stabilizer core. As you can tell, you're still going to need the draconic reactor core. So two chaos shards and then two draconium infused obsidian. Put the draconic reactor core in there and you get the stabilizing core. Go ahead and get your stabilizing core. Place it on top of a block. Again, if you're using cobble, dirt, whatever. And you're going to want to put it one block high. Technically one, two blocks, but you get the point. So you place a block down, put it on top of that one, break the block. Once you're done, this is where the warning happens, because you can get killed. Place one down, place another one down, place another one down. For your last one, and I have to be in survival for this to work. Place it down, back up. Because it will suck you in, and it's not very nice. And as you can see, it's doing it already. So if for that to stop, I have to pretty much break the block. Now, of course, my TPS is dropping because I was breaking things. So it takes a second to load. But once you're done doing that, so place it back down, back up. Once you are ready, you take your staff power, whatever it is, right-click it, back up, drop it, back up. So, it is now finally done. You come here, you pick up your item. And no, it's not charged, but if it was, this would be working very fast. And that's how you do that. So, as far as anything else, typically, you're supposed to be seeing it in here for how to do it. But all they have is Draconic Evolution and Ender I.O., but that's just because what's on my server. Um, they don't have anything in here quite yet as far as doing the stabilizer. 
I mean, it doesn't even have everything in here that you're supposed to have. Um, so, unfortunately, the developer has it on a waiting right now. They're waiting for it to be put into the information project project intelligence that is on a waiting right now. But once it's in there, it should be nice. And this tutorial isn't necessarily needed. But until then, do enjoy this tutorial. I hope this helps everyone who's using Draconic Editions. And I will see you on the next go around. Later.